as I can remember, I loved singing, I loved playing the guitar, I was always putting on shows with my cousins and making them do musicals I was creating and uh, I was always drawn to it. But when I got into high school, I started to become really serious about it because it was kind of the only place that made me feel safe and happy was kind of my theatre community at the time. So that was my like saving grace from school, which I really struggled with. And then, yeah, basically I just knew from like 13 years old that this is what I was going to do. And it was the only thing I could focus my attention on really. <laughs> I think all the shows I have been a part of have dark undertones, even if they're packaged as a funner, brighter show. Most of the shows I've been a part of deal with quite dark themes and me as an actor, I'm always drawn to that. I have never really liked musicals that are just fun, dancey, singing, like show tunes. I've always wanted to play meteor roles and feel like I could be someone authentic on stage that then can connect to an audience because they know who this person is. Being able to connect with young queer people at the end of both Jagged Little Pill and Fun Home was so incredible and I'm, I'm so lucky I got to represent them on stage. I think we have such a unique sensibility and a unique humour in Australia and I'm so excited to see a show like Heartbreak High which is very Australian but also very now blowing up internationally because I'm, I'm hoping that means more shows that are quirky and very specific to our our nation are going to be shown in other places and people are going to learn more about Australia and our very long um, history and culture. I'm feeling really positive about that since Heartbreak High really. I think it's such a wonderful time to be authentic to who you are in this industry. Not so much in the wider world, there's still a long way to go for diverse, queer, trans people. Uh, so actually the arts is becoming a safer space. It still has a long way to go, but I wish I was seeing shows that I'm seeing now when I was 13, because I didn't see many people who were trans or queer in queer relationships that I now experience in my real life. I never saw that on TV. I never saw that in film or in theatre. And now there are roles for, for people like me, for a, a wider variety of people. I, I think, yeah, you just, if you feel strong and safe enough to be who you are, please be who you are if you want to be a part of this industry. Um, well, when I first got it, I thought maybe it was a mistake <laughs> and they accidentally sent it to me uh, because, you know, other people who've been nominated and um, other people in previous years I, I've looked up to for a long time. So I'm very humbled and honoured to be nominated. I don't think it's going to change how I look at my career or come at auditions or um, change my work ethic. I, I've always been doing this because it's what gives me purpose every day, not because I want to be famous or have a profile as, as such. So I think just trying to keep working, keep working hard every day. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm writing music, a lot of music actually, and I'm writing a musical as well. So 
I'll eventually release something. I uh, These things take time and I want to make sure it's the best product once I release it. So who knows? That That is like a long, long-term goal. So we'll see when that happens. I remember getting very close to one show, a musical that was coming to Australia and I got to the last round and then I didn't get it. And I remember being heartbroken and I was like, this, I, you know, I've worked hard, I've done all the things, why isn't this happening? And, you know, I didn't book something until I was 20. And, you know, that it's not a long time in terms of uh, a full on career, but when you're 16, 17, and you're doing all these auditions and you're like, what? why can't I do it? And I'm seeing other people book and I think it's just perseverance. And even now, like, I, I, it's still perseverance of going, most of the time I get no's from the auditions I do, most of the time. But when you see someone's career, you only see their yeses. So it, it's easy to look at someone and go, that, that was so easy for them to get there. I mean, I would love to be able to do a show with some of my best friends. I would love to do a TV series or a musical. I think working with people I love is something that would be perfection for me. So I'm hoping that happens soon or at some point. Uh, but no, I, I'm, I'm kind of like wherever the world takes me, I will go with that.